of a doubt that you are literally being influenced by divine things. Uh, to the extent that you can become a follower of Jesus. Uh, Jesus said it like this in the text. Uh, if you want to become my followers, uh, Jesus, listen, talking to the disciples uh, who have been hanging out with him for all these many years. Uh, Jesus did not take for granted that they were his followers. Uh, Jesus told them, if you want to become my followers. Uh, I want you to know, child of God, some of us need to ask ourselves that question uh, from time to time. Uh, am I becoming a follower of Jesus? Uh, or am I a follower of the United States Constitution? Uh, am I a follower of the Democratic Party platform? Uh, am I a follower of the Republican Party platform? Uh, am I a follower of my racial or ethnic or gender or sexual or class or, or, or religious or, or nationality uh, propaganda? Uh, I want you to know all of these things have their place. Uh, but when Jesus calls you by name, somebody better say, here I am, Lord. Send me. Jesus said it like this. If you want to become my follower, I don't want to just hear you talking with your mouth. But I want to see what does your life produce in order to be my follower. I love it how Augustine, St. Augustine, the North African church father, he says it like this. That if we are to become followers of Jesus, then we must pick up our crosses and follow him. But child of God we are not called to become more burdened by our own crosses than by the cross of Jesus